Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at running Matomo, an open source Google Analytics alternative in Docker. To get started, log into the device where we're going to install Docker. We'll start by installing a few prerequisite packages required to install Docker. Then we'll add the Docker GPG key and apt repository. Now using apt install, we'll install docker, docker compose, and container d. We'll make sure the docker service is started and enabled. Add the current user to the docker group, then re-authenticate the current user for the group change to take effect. With docker installed, we're ready to run Matomo. We'll start by creating working directory structures and setting ownership of the new directories. We'll allow the Matomo container to write to its working directory. Then we use the docker run command to create a MariaDB database container, followed by a second docker run command to create the Matomo container. With both containers running, open a web browser and navigate to the DNS or IP address of the docker host. Click next on the welcome screen. Scroll to the bottom of the system check and click next. Verify the database setup matches what was set in the docker run command, then click next. Click Next once the database tables are created, then complete the form to create a super user account. Enter a website name, URL, and time zone to generate a Matomo tracking code. Copy the generated Matomo tracking code if you're ready to begin using it. You add this to the source code of your website to begin tracking analytics. Then scroll to the bottom of the page and click Next. Finally, scroll to the bottom of the page and click Continue to Matomo. Log in using the super user username and password we created earlier. Welcome to Matomo, an open source Google Analytics alternative running containerized in Docker. I like to install the dark theme, so I'll navigate to the settings, platform, marketplace, filter to themes, and install the dark theme. When prompted, enter the super user password to confirm the installation. Once the theme is installed, click the activate theme button to enable it. 